Uh, if you're hoping to take a crack at a nutterly delicious starter option or a quick snack, then look no further as Tony Co demonstrates how to make one of his own creations packed with extra protein, butternut, butternut, portobello and smoked tofu peanut parcels. Yes, that's the one. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it's and it's easy as that. It's as easy as that. It sounds <laughs> like a mouthful. Okay, so look, I've just got ahead of myself here a little bit. I've cooked some onions down with some spices. Um, and some peanut butter. What spices? Now I've used cumin, smoked paprika, uh, chipotle chili, and a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, and I've just okay. swept them down. And you can see it's kind of and like just a, like a, a teaspoon of each. Yeah, they're in about. No, actually, the, the smoked paprika and the cumin are a little bit more. They're okay. more like two tablespoons. Oh right, two. The other two there's like two teaspoons because that's the only spices in it. Okay. And then I dropped in some peanut butter, about three heaped tablespoons of smooth peanut butter. Smooth, so not yeah. the nutty one. Not the nutty one, and that makes it kind of saucy, as you can see. Let's kind have of a look at it there. Nice the texture there. It's kind oh of saucy. yeah, very yeah. nice. So um, to that now I'm going to add, I have some tofu. And that's smoked tofu? That's smoked tofu, yeah. And is that hard to get a hold of? No, you get that in supermarkets. Okay. Yeah, and if you don't have smoked, you could actually just use regular tofu as well, just grate it up. Okay. Um, I just chose to use smoked because the chipotle is a smoked chilli mm. and there's smoked paprika in there, just to kind of, so there's a lot of smoky, like lightly smoky flavours. And sun-dried tomatoes there as well? Sun-dried tomatoes there as well. I use the semi-dried variety from the jar because they're quite handy, you know, you buy them in the jar in the supermarket. Yeah. It's about one jar full, strain them And off. the juice and the oil that's in it? Um, I, no, I actually strain the, the oil off it. Okay. And um, you can use that for other stuff and actually you can actually use it to brush the filo pastry if you want as well just to, oh, or, okay. or to roast the vegetables you really Very get the flavour then a little bit of lime zest and juice here a pinch of salt a drop of agave syrup not too much yeah not That's much at sweetener. all yeah just a little bit just to give it a little bit of sweetness because there's butter and squash in there as well and then a little bit of asian influence here some toasted sesame oil oh, Toast, very nice. toasted sesame oil really really enhances the flavor of nuts it really brings out the, the nutty flavor of the peanut very good so that's the base mixture there and, and now let's I have a look at it there yep it's yeah, that's nice kind of like a paste or well yeah and because you need something that's kind of thick which will okay. hold together in the pastry so i'm going to drop that into some vegetables now the vegetable i've chosen here are um cauliflower squash and mushroom Mm. So I've got my glove on here. I'm going to give this a quick mix. It really is well getting in here with your hands. Yeah. There's yeah. no other way around it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but because they're all mushed up like this and in that, yeah. there'll be a lot of flavour in this one. There'll be a lot of flavour, a lot of umami in there. Now, the mushrooms are in pieces, so you can avoid them when you cut into it. You'll see yourself. So I'm going to... Is the veg pre-cooked? The cauliflower? Veg, and... Yeah, I roasted the cauliflower, roasted the squash, roasted the mushrooms. I roasted them all together under one tray. Oh, right. So how long, how long uh, was that for? About 25 minutes, 30 minutes. OK, so, so you need to do that before yeah, you exactly. get started. So I have some phyllo pastry here. Just a shop bar phyllo pastry. I've used just roll one here, which is quite handy. I just opened it up, slid it down the centre. And um, I'm just going to oil the sheets. So this is important. The oil and lends a bit of crispiness. Um, and then I've got another sheet on top. Another sheet on top again. Well, is this for one now, or is this for one? For now, one one feel of pastry will do one, but oh, the, the, rest, the, the recipe quantity itself will actually serve. Um, you'll actually serve quite a few from it. You'll serve about seven or eight portions. Really? Because yeah. they're big as well. It's quite substantial, yeah. So I'm just going to top this in here. Just going to move the mixture. So as you can see yourself from the mixture mm. I have there, there's still quite a lot left. So you'd actually serve you'd actually serve a family of eight. This is actually actually for Mother's Day. This could be a nice uh, something nice you could put together. Sure, I'd be do very you impressed. You would, serve yeah. A few people, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so there's the field. I'm pastry. interested to see how you fold yeah, it up. This, now. this, this, this is the trick. So yeah. I've made a triangle at the top, okay? And I've left a little um, a line across here, a diagonal okay. across. Fold in here once, press in, fold back towards. Oh, in, yeah. Fold towards and just roll towards you. So I'm just That's very easy. Two, quick, two here and do you need to oil the other side of it then as well to kind of make it stick down? Yeah, once we take it off now, we'll actually oil the, the outside as well. Just so there's layers of oil running through all the, the sheets. So I'm just going to drop a oil on there. Just like so. It's good. Yeah. It's really nice, actually. Ah, oh, thank you. So I'm going to pop that in the oven. Um, and the mushrooms can be avoided as well. And I chose portobello because they're kind of meaty. Mm. So I'm going to pop them I in there. I love um, roasted cauliflower. It, 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 it transforms it completely, doesn't yeah. it? It becomes a different vegetable. It really does. Um, it really does. So I have a plate here. So I, what I'm going to put on the plate now, I made what is called a sweet corn velouté. So a velouté is traditionally um, a stock or a, um, a stick thickened with a roux, a flour and butter mix. But I've made a sweet corn velouté here. It's basically a sweet corn sauce. Sweet corn cooked... A sweet corn sauce. Yes, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really easy. It's sweet corn cooked with milk and stock. Right. And, and milk and stock, a little bit of bay leaf, some nutmeg, black pepper and clove, and that's it. 
But obviously you have to blend, do you blend it? Or yeah, once, is it... Once, once it's finished you blend it and then you pass it through a sieve. And by passing it through a sieve it gives it a nice kind of velvety, creamy consistency. It's quite messy though, isn't it, oh, with it the is, phyllo it? pastry? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's, it's a real kind of, a, it's one of those kind of dishes, you know, you have to kind of, um, the nap's going to be handy. Mm, mm. So I'm going to serve that with a salsa. So I have here some peanuts, sweet corn, spring onion. Going to add a little bit of zest and a bit of juice of a lime. Um, a little bit of uh, soy yogurt, not too much, just a couple of tablespoons. And this is a good, but this the all pro soy yogurt's quite nice, it's quite tangy. Um, so I'm just going to give that a mixture there, just like so. Mm. And a tiny, tiny pinch of salt. Not too much, you don't want to have to too salty. In the intro we said that this was a starter, but uh, this is quite oh, no, filling. No, no, it's not a starter, no, no, yeah, no. Did I say yeah. starter? Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's well, not a starter, no, far from it. Whenever I mentioned it, I said the perfect starter, oh. or even just a snack, but <laughs> no. you know, it is, it is, it could be a proper meal. Oh, it is, it's a main course, yeah, sorry, I was, um, I didn't explain that properly, it is actually a main course dish. This is something, and, and it's really good, it's, you get a good yield, as I said, you get like six to eight portions out of it, mm. and um, it's actually, it's quite easy to make. I like love the, the crunchiness in it. I don't know if that... The different peanuts on the top, yeah. It's a nice kind of bite, isn't there? Yeah, so you, is that peanuts in the in the salsa, sorry, was it, or where is yeah, that? Yeah, th those peanuts are in the salsa. You know, the, it's peanut butter in the sauce, which is smooth. So it's you kind smooth. of get, you get a double kick of peanut, but the, with the, the crunch in the um, in the salsa gives a nice kind of bite to it. Mm. But um, as I said, it's very handy for it. Like, it's something you can throw together, particularly the sauce and the salsa are really easy to make. It's just a matter of just mixing the ingredients. The sauce you blend and pass, and the salsa just mix in a bowl. And sorry, I missed it. How long did you stick it into oh, the oven for? Sorry, um, I put it into the oven for um, 35, 40 minutes. 30, okay. 35 to 45 at 180 degrees. 180. Just, to kind of, just to kind of get a little bit of browning on top. And it's very important that it gets oiled as well okay. before it goes in. And tell me, how's business? Business at the moment is, uh, it's okay. It's not, not amazing. Yeah, but, um, but you listen, it's how difficult is yeah. it at the minute? Oh, you, do, you do take away and We're, stuff yeah. as well, though, but well, it's just... We've had a bit of time now to develop some other ideas, which is great. We have the shop going now as well. Um, we have an online shop where you can buy meals. Um, we have a load of new products online. We're making our own right. cheeses. Like brie's and, and blue cheese. Kind of like stuff. vegan cheeses type vegan thing? Vegan cheeses, yeah, but we're making them traditionally by using um, traditional methods. So we're inoculating the cheeses with cultures to try and get the correct flavours. No um, way. Um, then we've got a few other things like croissants and stuff. Stuff we haven't really had time to develop in the past. Yeah. Um, so in one way, it's been quite good. Yeah, you know? well, listen, you have to try and find the positives in all these That's things, it. don't you? That's it, exactly. Tony, that was delicious, I have Great. to say. Very Thank good. You very much, Fair Tommy. play to you. Thank you. Thank you.